and file bridge mode configuration. A bridge interface is connected to switch mirroring traffic and mostly will not affect the existing network. The common for those users hope nothing changed in their network topology. It is incredibly easy to use by just simply add in the IP address of NG Firewall and point to the ISP devices. After that, NG Firewall will take the action to filtering those traffic passed to it to the outside network. It is a simple case study for NG Firewall bridge mode configuration. The client hope nothing changed to their existing network and only have one network segment which is the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 in their local area network. At the same time, client also did wish to protect their local network. In here, we are able to conclude the most suitable solution for this topology is to configure the bridge mode in the NG Firewall interface. Then only we able to achieve the purpose for the protection and will not affect the network topology. To configure bridge interface with the access port in the NG Firewall, there are a few simple steps have to memorize for it. Step 1, edit the physical interface. Current have to configure the physical interface to those already connected device to set up the connection between the LAN and VAN. Step 2, add the IP address and the default gateway to the VLAN interface. Then user only able to manage the NG Firewall to the following IP address. The last step is about the pinging to the outside internet. Commonly bridge will not require user to configure further routing and already able to access the internet. Otherwise, user have to troubleshoot the previous configuration and also remember at the allow all traffic in the application to control. Let us start the configuration by access the web UI. After that, select the interface step under the network category. In this breaker, we decided to configure the internet one as the LAN. After that, you can type in the any message you want in the description. So we select the bridge as the interface type, which is the layer 2 addressing. After that, create a new zone over here and name it as the LAN zone. Because it is connected to the call switch, so the WAN attribute no need to take. And basically, there are two options of the port type, which are the access and the trunk. The trunk port allow custom the range of the VLAN supported. As a reminder, we only configure the access port because of only one subnet exists in the user environment. Next, we repeat the previous step again in the configuration of the WAN zone, which is the Ethernet 2. And basically, the step is also similar. We have, we have to select the bridge at the type and also create in the new zone for it. So user remember to take the web attribute while the traffic is connected to the ISP devices. The next step is to add in the new VLAN interface to allow us to remove access to NG firewall. So we will be using the VLAN one which is the VLAN being selected in the access port. After that, add in the new layer 3 route zone as the forward mode. At the same time, we also have to take the pingable option to allow NG Firewall able to reply those ICMP requests. We have to type in the 192.168.1.1/24 to allow the ping with the IP address. After that, the next hook address just point to the ISP devices as the default gateway. So there is an overall configuration of the NG Firewall. Now we have to change the PC to become same subnet with the 192.168.1.0 slash 94. We just simply assign it the IP address which able to connect it to the LAN zone of the NG firewall. And the default gateway we just point to the router because the NG firewall is being deployed as the bridge mode. However, the traffic will pass to the NG firewall before forward to the outside internet. After that, we can click OK and set up the configuration. So the last step is about to ping for the outside internet. Before this, we, I would like to ping for the gateway device, which is the 192.168.1.254. So we can see the ping is successfully executed.
if the spec is successful it also means we can connect to the outside network so we can test to access the google website now so the web page is successfully loaded so that's all for my tutorial thank you